Hi, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Randy Hardy. As the chairman of the board for the Kansas Aviation Museum, I'd like to welcome you to the Air Capitol Boulevard dedication ceremony. I'd like to recognize a few people, uh, the board members for the Kansas Aviation Museum. I'm not going to list them off. Well, that was just rude. Uh, so, well, uh, if the members of the board would raise their hand, I'd appreciate that. There's a bunch up here today. Uh, as well, we have a lot of volunteers for the museum. I'd like you to raise your hand as well, volunteers and members of the museum. And then our staff, did they stay out here? Our staff, Kevin, raise your hand. Okay. <laughs> Finally, um, I just want to make sure we welcome everybody and we recognize the people that make this place run. And now, Ben. I just want to say thank you everyone. This is incredible to look out here this afternoon and be supported by so many friends in our community, partners in our community that have assisted, uh, supported, whether it's through financial contributions or coming out in person or advocating. Thank you so much for the work that you do in supporting the mission of our museum. Uh, and we really would not be here today if it was not for you. So thank you all very much here. I do want to recognize a few of our uh, dignitaries that are with us here. I want to start with McConnell. We are glad to have with us uh, Colonel Cynthia Welch from the 931st. She's the commander there. She's right over there. <laughs> Colonel Joe Deeds, who is the 80, 184th Deputy Commander. And I have the distinct privilege of ser serving as an honorary commander at McConnell Air Force Base that I enjoy doing. And our command, my commander that I serve alongside with as well, Colonel Brent Toth from the 22nd Operations Group is with us. And his assistant, his deputy, Josh, I'm not going to say the last name because I'm going to miss it. So thank you all from McConnell for joining us today. I want to say thank you as well to our uh, state representatives that we have. We have both Representative Sandy Pickert, I saw here. Representative Leah Howell over here. I want to say a huge thank you to Jason Cox, the Wichita Chamber Chair this year is here as well. There he is over there. A huge shout out to our friends at Greater Wichita Partnership who have come alongside us in this dedication and planning purpose. So we have Ricky Ellison and Victoria Caro with uh, Greater Wichita Partnership with us today. Representing uh, Congressman Ron Estes' office, we have their district director, uh, Debbie Looper. <laughs> Wichita Aero Club President Nic Nicole Alexander is here as well. Somewhere there she is. Then we have Park City Council Member Jim Schroeder over there. So I'm also from Park City, and I understand when these little towns get left off, we kind of you know, so I want to make sure we get those ones out there. <laughs> Shout out to Small Town USA. Um, and then also, though, to our Wichita City Council members, Council Member Mike Hoheisel, who represents this district here. <laughs> Represent, uh, Council Member Dalton Glasscock, who represents our south or our west neighbor. And then we're excited to have with us Mayor Lily Wu as well. So again, thank you all very much. Uh, I know that over the past couple months, maybe you've seen some of the news and such regarding the overnaming, and I just want to reiterate, it is an overnaming, not a renaming. I will tell you, I have never, ever in my life been called woke until we had this. <laughs> and uh, they thought we were renaming George Washington. It's just an overnaming, honoring the rich tradition, the rich heritage of aviation in Wichita. George Washington Boulevard was, began construction in the late 20s and opened as the direct access from the main core of the city, which you can see behind us there, uh, as its access point to get to this location right here, which was the Wichita Municipal Airport from 1935 to 1954. This place was the fourth busiest airport in the nation at its height, operating a flight in and out every 90 seconds. So you think about what we did here. And part of the reason why we're honoring this today is because there is a rich heritage and legacy of aviation workers that have gone on from the 1920s here, whether it was Traveler, Laird, Cessna, Beach, all those companies that started, and that, it, that line still exists today in our workforce, whether it's Bombardier, Airbus, Spirit, Textron, and over the, two, the over 200 plus 
manufacturers who supply our aviation companies. So when people talk about Wichita was the, uh, was the air capital of the world, they have it all wrong. Wichita is still the air capital of the world today. And that's partly why this street dedication is so important. It serves as a reminder of where we've come from in 1920s to where we're at today in 2024. We celebrate our rich heritage because our rich heritage in aviation matters. You can't get anywhere in the world without the workforce of Wichita today. And so this is a tribute to them and all that they do to make Wichita great. And so I want to say thank you to those who have given their time and their lives in dedication of aviation and aerospace, those who currently are, and all those who support and supporting industries. Thank you uh, there. And then again, thank you so much to those who partner with us to continue this legacy. It's now my honor and my privilege here to introduce our next speaker, and I'll go through. Uh, but representing the Wichita Regional Chamber of Commerce, we have President John Rolfe. Thank you, Ben, and uh, good afternoon to everyone. It's uh, certainly another great day for us to be celebrating uh, another great dedication. And, and Ben, you're absolutely right. There's certainly a rich history of aviation uh, here, uh, not only in the Wichita, but certainly across our state. And it reminds me really back to, you were talking about the 1920s, but if my memory serves me right from some of my reading, you know, in 1925, it, you know, in this area, we had a company called Travel Air that was formed by Cessna Beach and Stearman and certainly there are a lot of changes that took place following that 1925 but I believe it was in 1928 when uh, quite frankly Wichita became uh, known as air capital of the world and as you said Ben continues to hold that today but that was a result of 16 aviation manufacturing companies that were producing 120, pl 120 planes uh, every week very significant uh, amount of planes every week coming out uh, of Wichita. And over the time, I understand we've done about 300,000 airplanes here that have been produced here uh, in Wichita all across the world, giving us still that recognition of air capital of the world. So it's, it's really uh, to have this, rededica this dedication as, uh, for Air Capital Boulevard is certainly a testament and certainly significant to our legacy of aviation, uh, and I think it will continue to serve a reminder to all of us for the 65, approximately 65,000 individuals that are employed in aviation across the state and the significant amount, probably about 30,000 here just here in Wichita. Pretty huge economic impact uh, to, our economic, to our business community and certainly to this uh, region. And so we're excited to be a part of that. Uh, I know we have several team members from the chamber, and as you mentioned, our board chair, Jason Cox. But uh, Ben, congratulations to you, the aviation, Muse the Kansas Aviation Museum, and to all the others that have been involved in the history here and continue to make sure our aviation uh, history remains alive. So thank you and congratulations. Our next speaker here is actually still in a county commission meeting, so he can't join us. Uh, Commissioner Ryan Beatty was going to be joining us, but uh, they are still discussing county business. So uh, it is great, though, to have with us Councilman Mike Hoheisel. He represents the 3rd District. He also serves on the board uh, of directors here at the Kansas Aviation Museum, and he is a large reason why we are here today. Uh, about eight months ago, I began working through the process and reached out to him in his office to find out what would be the route to go to have a street over named. Uh, and at first, we kind of went through that whole renaming thing and knew that that wasn't the route. But uh, Cong or Cong I already promoted you. In the future. <laughs> council member, <laughs> council member Mike Hoheisel uh, really shepherded and guided this process through the city side uh, for the past six months to where they got to in, eight, uh, in February when they voted on it. So I'd like for you to make welcome here our third district, uh, Wichita City Council member Mike Hoheisel. Thank you all. And Thank you, Ben. Um, first off, I'd like to say thank you to you, your staff, the volunteers, and the board for all the great things we have going on here. If you haven't been to the museum in a while, please take a chance after this. Go through there, see the new displays. Um, there's a lot of great momentum going. So can we give it up to Ben for Ben and, and his staff one more time here? 
Now, I've gotten to know Ben pretty well over the last couple of years. He's a pretty sharp guy, except for one thing, he expects us politicians to limit our speech to two minutes or less. What politician's gonna do that, right? But I did tell him that I would be a man of my word and stick to it, so I know we're all warm out here today, so. 30 seconds. 30 seconds, all right. I'd like to say, Thank you all for showing up today. Let's keep the momentum going forward. Congratulations, Ben, on um, getting the renaming done, bringing more attention to the museum, and I know we're going to continue to do great things. So that's it. That's the speech. <laughs> Thank you for those compliments. <laughs> And finally, this afternoon here, uh, I'd like to welcome to the stage our mayor, Mayor Lily Wu. She is no doubt Wichita's biggest advocate and cheerleader as she goes around tirelessly. If you follow her on social media at all, you'll notice she's everywhere, all the time, active and engaged. And there's no better supporter that we could have for our community, for aviation, for aerospace, and for the Aviation Museum than our own mayor here in Wichita, Lily Wu. Thank you so very much, Ben. Um, like Council Member Hoheisel, I would love to just say a recognition and a thank you uh, to the volunteers, the staff, the board members, and the entire community that supports the Kansas Aviation Museum. It is with your support as a community that we get to have these celebrations. Uh, but I'm always reminded that it also takes commitment. It takes commitment from a visionary leader a leader who wants to get to a yes. And that leader is Ben. So let's give him and his team a round of applause. I am so honored to serve as the 103rd mayor for the city of Wichita alongside a city council that cares about the city of Wichita. I am again here with council member Hoheisel and council member Glasscock who in the month of February, we had the opportunity to vote a resounding yes to an overnaming of George Washington Boulevard. And it really reminded me of why I love this community. This community is built by people. It's Wichitans. Wichitans that care about this community, the legacy of this community in aviation, the future of this community, because we want to make this city the best place to live, work, and raise a family. And when I come here to the Kansas Aviation Museum, I often see families. I see people sharing stories about how they used to work at a specific company in Wichita, sharing with the next generation a love for aviation so that we have future pilots in our community. And I love seeing the interaction that the Kansas Aviation Museum and our museums here in Wichita do to connect the dots for the next generation to understand that we stand before you because of those who built this community. So thank you so very much for the opportunity to be here today and represent the Wichita City Council. I do have a proclamation to read and I'll make it as quick as possible. I know it's a little hot and I really appreciate you all. The proclamation reads, the city of Wichita, Kansas, founded in 1870, whereas the city of Wichita, Kansas has long been recognized as the air capital of the world due to its significant contributions to the aviation industry and its storied history of manufacturing some of the world's most distinguished aircraft. And whereas the Kansas Aviation Museum stands as a testament to this rich heritage preserving and promoting the understanding of aviation and its impact on the local community and the world at large. And whereas the dedication of Air Capital Boulevard seeks to honor and celebrate the enduring legacy of aviation in Wichita, providing a symbol of pride and a corridor of connectivity to the community and the countless visitors drawn to this historic city. Now, therefore, be it resolved that I, Lily Wu, Mayor of the City of Wichita, along with the Wichita City Council, do hereby proclaim the dedication of the air capital of the world and the dedication, the rena overnaming of Air Capital Boulevard in honor of the Kansas Aviation Museum. This thoroughfare will serve not only as a vital pathway in our city, but as a permanent tribute to our aviation heritage 
and the men and women who have contributed to its success. Right here in the city of Wichita, and encourage all citizens to celebrate and promote the rich aviation heritage and future that our city holds. Congratulations. And real quick, I'm going to ask the staff of the Kansas Aviation Museum that's here. If you'll want to come up, I'm going to ask councilmen, council members, and Lily, if you'll join us, we will now do the ceremonial unveiling. You already seen the street signs for like the last three weeks. But uh, anyway, we'll do the ceremonial unveiling here. So if you guys want to join us here. We'll have to pull out. Pull out. Yeah. Three, two, one. <laughs> Perfect. Well, um, again, on behalf of the Kansas Aviation Museum, uh, our staff, our volunteers, our board of directors, thank you so much for coming out. If you would like to join us inside, we have cookies and water, and we have Air Capital Boulevard swag that you can purchase here today to go out and support across the city. So make your way on inside. Enjoy some time here while you can. But thank you so much for coming out here, uh, and we look forward to seeing you soon.